Hi, this is Mike Stryko with the Devers Eye Institute, Portland, Oregon. wanted to talk to you about Demec injectors. I feel that this is a very important component of the Demec surgery. In my opinion, the ideal injector should be a closed system. It should ideally be made of glass, as that should be safer for the endothelium. It should contain no viscoelastic. It should load easily. It should seal the wound well to prevent graft ejection. It should avoid any compression of the graft, and it should maintain the AC volume very well. Many of the current injectors don't meet these criteria. For example, this is the STAR IOL injector. It's only a semi-closed system and it does require viscoelastic. It can be difficult to inject the graft, it can get viscoelastic in the eye, and the foam plunger can damage the graft. I made a modified plastic pipette injector, which is a closed system, uses no viscoelastics, and can work very well for graft injection, but does some, have some downsides, such as plastic that can damage the graft, and you'll see that here, you can see actual endothelial damage in an area that looks like bear claws. Now this is a modified Alcon B cartridge, also a closed system and worked very well, but uh, required too much modification, so I came up with this glass Jones tube system, which I've been much happier with. The glass Jones tube system aspirates the graft very nicely, has a dilated area that prevents uh, too much flow from aspirating the graft too far and really helps the fluidics of the system can fit through a 3.2 millimeter incision and is very safe for the graft as is very smooth glass. And you see a couple examples here of where I'm using this can suck the graft right off the punch block and inject it into various eyes. That was uh, one eye that was phacic. You can see it holds the graft very nicely. The phacic eye incidentally that was underneath of a large size PK. This is my fellow using the injector. It has no air preferably in the system and a couple bursts of fluid and you'll see that graft just goes quite nicely into the anterior chamber and maintains the anterior chamber volume. You have to be careful not to overpressurize the anterior chamber and then carefully bring the injector out. Here's a picture of what the modified glass Jones tube looks like. This is made by Gunther Weiss in Portland, Oregon. It's a FDA approved Jones tube that has a slightly dilated reservoir that helps with the fluidics and graft handling. You can see the small piece of tubing, that's just a piece of 14 French uh, nasogastric suction tubing that I've cut in order to join the Jones tube to the syringe. It's a very easy device to prepare. And this is the tubing that I'm currently using to join the Jones tube to the syringe. It's readily available and quite inexpensive. I hope that you've enjoyed these surgical videos of mine and that some of my tips and techniques for Demac will help you and your patients to enjoy a more successful Demac surgery. I'll continue to share techniques on this website, including the release of our new glass injector, which is made by a Gunther Weiss company. It's a modified Jones tube that's worked very nicely for us. And for additional training or information, please don't hesitate to contact me at the Devers Eye Institute in Portland, Oregon. And again, this is Mike Stryko at Devers Eye Institute, Portland, Oregon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.